My name is Trevor Sylvester. I'm a cognitive hypnotherapist and a relationship coach. I work in Harley Street and I've been doing this for about 20 years. I've written a book uh, called Lovebirds which is based around my experiences both in the relationships that I've had in my own life which didn't go particularly well and the many clients I've seen who've been in the same kind of situation. As the years went by it quickly became apparent that that most people weren't splitting up because they didn't love each other, they just couldn't figure a way to make their relationship work for themselves. We are raised to think that we should do unto others as we would have others do unto us. And it doesn't really work that way because I know I'm loved in a certain way and that might not be the same way that you are. And so if I'm doing to you how I would like to be loved, you might completely misunderstand that or even not even notice it. Whereas if I learn how you know that you're loved and do more of that, then absolutely I'm fulfilling your needs. I say in the book how I was literally walking my dogs and I saw two different types of bird. I think it was, a, it was a dove and a robin and the robin was singing its lungs out and the dove was pretty much on the same branch and completely ignoring it and it, it just kind of clicked that if the dove, if supposing the robin was trying to shut up the dove but the dove actually liked to cuddle rather than listening to a song then the robin is completely wasting its time and the, the dove is feeling very unloved and it just kind of grew from there. I often label differences as negative because if I'm doing something then clearly I'm doing it the way I think it's best to be done. So if I watch my partner doing something in a way differently to how I would, then clearly they must be doing it wrong, otherwise I am. So it's very easy to turn these differences that our partners demonstrate in our relationship to label them in a negative kind of way. So our partners become stubborn or awkward or miserable, all the kind of different things that you hear in rounds. But actually they're, nothing, they're being nothing the same. They're, they're not crazy or awkward, they're just not you. And once you've learned that, then you create a new language within your relationship to explain why you're doing what you're doing and how you would like it instead.